Hi everybody, welcome to JCH Studio. Today I am going to guide you how to model a carom board. So let's begin the steps and this video is going to be a little bit longer because I am going to process uh, without shining. So you will also know the errors what I am doing. So how you can resolve the same. Okay, let's begin. Press Shift A and create a cube scale and scale it in z-axis I just period can make it zoom okay the slices look good mm -hmm. fine so we can make it bigger and more bigger fine so now I'm going to scale it in z-axis so I'm going to give the thickness I'm going to reduce a little bit more okay now I made this after doing each scale option on rotate so whenever you do the scaling and everything you have to apply the scale otherwise you will face many problems so don't skip the video if you skip you will miss some small steps and you will not get the exact output with the final rendering press ctrl a and apply the scale so now scaling has been applied so now I can show you here also I press ctrl Z here you can able to see scaling is in different different level but when the object when we are getting the scaling should be default in one so press ctrl A and apply the scale you can able to see Z Y X is in one section okay fine go to tab and select the top face and bottom face and press go to the top view and press i2 intersect, intersect. after doing this press space bar and bridge edge loops press enter so now we can able to see this option has been came in case while pressing the space you are not getting a search option and it's getting played in the play animation means go to edit preference here is the key map and select the search option to open the search when you press the space bar okay now just let me reconfirm how it comes okay fine it's not much big okay now here edge so it will be having uh, some uh, soft corners go to edge selection select all the corners so now all the four edges has been selected press Control B to bevel and create some more cuts. We can make some more big. Okay, so now we have created some bevels in the corner, but you can able to see it's not uh, much smooth. I right click and share smooth. Go to edit mode, select all the edges using a shift and alt key. So now you can able to see you have selected all the edges. Press Shift E and press 1 and enter to make it short the corner and go to the modification tool normal select auto smooth. So now you can able to see that corner looks better. Better smooth. So now this part has been over. Press F2 and make it as it's like uh, border wood so now this object has been named I save it I just uh, save it in uh, like uh, demo so whenever you create a file don't forget to save the file sometimes when the system get uh, restarted due to some reasons power failure or anything your uh, total project will uh, go 
so don't forget to save the object whenever you save the uh, when you ever you do the modification right okay fine now the next part is is the base bottom press shift a and create a plane and go to the top view and yes to scale like this up to the corner and press ctrl a to apply the scale and go to the top view and tap to edit and the, the press ctrl w sorry right click and subdivide right click subdivide right click subdivide and we can make it one more also okay now we are going to do the one particular edge to modify all the places i go to the sorry press shift z to wireframe mode and we are going to concentrate this corner so go to the top view and select everything one for the vertex selection and go to the box select instead of circle select and I'm going to select all the bottom and X to delete and go to this and X to delete and do the vertices so now here you can able to see we have deleted the X axis and Y axis and here I'm going to add a mirror modifier so I'm going to add a mirror for Z ok and I'm going to duplicate this press shift D to duplicate and I'm going to do it in Y axis so now you can able to see four edges has been covered so when I do any modification here I can show you like this it will be applied on all the corners okay I go to the top view again and let me go to this particular corner so here this is the corner which is facing the properly and I select this face right click and subdivide and press 1 on the vertices and X to delete the vertices now you can able to view like this ok sorry I have made one uh, miss points instead of creating like this press ctrl and create one edge loop here ctrl and create one edge loop here go to 1 for the vertices select and select what is and delete so now it has been came with proper structure now select using the alt key and the left left sorry left mouse button and you can able to see the selection i go to the top view again right click and loop tools and create a circle so in case you are not getting the loop tools then you can go to the edit preference go for the add-on and start searching for the loop tools so when it's came you can select that option it will be available it's a free of cost you can select that add-on and click close then this loop tool will be appear so now we have made uh, some circles and I make it a little bit um, huge okay now I go to the normal view and press ctrl 3 to apply a bevel option you can able to see here now when we go we can able to see all the corner we have a pocket so but when I look into this it's look like very big okay we can uh, reduce a little more size and scale it down So now we can able to see all the size corner is uh, looks better. I go to edit mode, go to the top view. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press G and I'm going to move a little bit towards this corner and, uh, and I'm going to see how it looks. Yeah, looks better. So now we can able go to the object and apply the mirroring first, first one and second one. 
so this is the process you have to go from bottom to top and you can uh, see the object okay everything is fine and now i am going to do the unwrapping go to edit mode select everything go to uv editing and uh, right click sorry control e and do the um, we can do the right click here right go to unwrap uv faces and smart uv project and click okay so now we can able to see the has been unwrapped you can select the synchronize option here to select where is the object is available press ctrl l and g to move from the box select scale it down press g and put it in the one corner because this is not required need to apply any textures for this so i am keeping in a corner so i'm going to select this one and press ctrl l and g to move and i'm going to my as place it as a center so you can able to see and here this section let me see where it comes okay Let it be. Okay, we can see the further things here. Now, texture has been cleared, but here it's not in the straight as per like this. Press the center one, press A to select all. This is the active follows right click and follow active quads. Okay. Okay, we will be facing some problem. I just undo it. Once again, I select this. and let me try with full active quads okay it's not came proper okay let it be not a big deal here fine then we can go to the shading tool and select this one and press new and make it black and we are going to give the roughness little bit less so it will look shiny because some board uh, that corner will looks little bit shiny okay this part is over now i am going to select this bottom and i am going to create as uh, name it as a board here we are going to apply some uh, textures and techniques to improve the things okay i said control space to make it maximize to look look good view and um, i already added some textures here so so here is some texture i am going to drag this one into the project and now this has been imported here this image when you see so which has a white background and the color intersection so we can easily give a differentiate between this so i press shift d and i make a duplicate here i am going to apply this one here and we are going to see how it looks so this is the way so first i am going to align it select the sand scale okay so i am going to select this one and press control l and scale up so here you can see this one has been So I'm going to do the box select and G to move like this, or we can move to outside better. So I'm going to select this one, press Control L, and scale it up. Go to the material preview here to view what's happening. So still we have to go here, scale it up. and here you can go to the uv shading tool and here in this section repeat make it as extended this also okay uh, go to the uv editing 
so now you can able to see the object which has came better okay this looks too thing I'm going to make it a little bit uh, closer so I'm going to align it as per our document using the G key I hope now it matches fine so now we are going to do the coloring and other thing because it's little completely it's white background so which looks come as a board right go to the shading model press space and uh, here we are going to add some mix shader for doing this thing press shift and mix shader I'm going to add this here so we can see here how it looks so I'm going to make it like this and this is this bigger okay so I just make it closer right so we can make it one more thing here press shift A and search for the mix color ramp so color ramp default is black and white so I'm going to collect this color to fact and collect this color to here this is mix shader fact so now I'm going to add the shader to bottom so you can able to see here I have given some base color which is coming a black okay so when I apply it to this shader you can able to see the first shader which has been taken is a non black so white background which has been become black because I have not added any coloring for that no mixing for that that's why it looks black now I'm going to add some more textures here. So I make it zoom. I make it big so it be looks better. Okay, I go to this, I go for some texture. I have downloaded some textures. So I'm going to drag this to the project. So this is nothing but called uh, okay I just add one by one best here and normal and roughness okay so here you can see albedo normal and roughness and I'm going to duplicate this one and albedo I'm giving us a color roughness I'm going to give it in roughness connection and normal I'm going to give it in normal connections so now I'm going to add this one to this second shader so now you can able to see the actual textures which is has been applied but here you can able to see the scaling is too high so which uh, we are going to avoid it I will tell you how to do that so I go to this press any one of the text and press T control T to do this if not coming you can go, go for text coordinator and mapping you can add it manually I'm going to give this sector vector to all the vectors and I'm going to scale this one as I show you this how it looks you can able able to see I'm going to select everything and I'm going to it as 2 you can able to see it's getting reduced that size scaling size so this one I'm going to give it as 10 so now you can able to see this textures which has been applied here in top as per our requirement here you can able to see the wood board okay now our caram has been completed I hope you could enjoy this tutorial if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and soon we will be coming frequently we will be putting uh, wiki 2 videos we are planning that so 100% I hope I can able to give you the output